Hey guys, RC here, back with Draft Day Sports Pro Football 20. We are starting Season 5, and uh, we are here at Episode 1 of Season 5. Uh, let's see, do we pick, we're picking number 5 overall. So, Scott Arrington and Frank Ruiz. Couple of linebacker and a cornerback. Uh, so that would be interesting. Uh, let's, we're picking top five. So there's no games this episode. This is the off season part. Maybe we'll do the preseason. I typically don't even like to show the preseason. Not that big of a deal. So Dak is 30. That's not the end of the world, right? Now he has a good arm, but we have determined that accuracy and intelligence. Hello. Accuracy and intelligence are the more important options here. He does not have the accuracy. Let's go in just just to just for discussion. So, let's look at highest completion percentages. Only qualified players, thank you very much. Highest completion percentage I said. All right. Matthew Stafford, accuracy, intelligence, arm. Okay. Aaron Rodgers, accuracy, intelligence, arm. Deshaun Watson. Now, you notice he's closer to 80 than 90, but he's still 67%, 60 touchdowns, 26 interceptions. Um, Roethlisberger accuracy but it's hard to tell if that's dropped off because he's retired right uh, Paxton Lynch now he turned out to be a bust in real life but they're all right around that 80 mark alright so let's go back to Dak again The fact that he's below 80 shouldn't be troubling because we see other guys in that very high 70s, that 79 range, that have done well, right? And he's super intelligent, and he has a super good arm compared to most of those guys. Yet he only completed, he's completing under 60% of his throws. Now, that could be... the type of throws he's making that could be the receivers he's throwing to the in you know drops in interceptions have not been horribly high but he is 30 so i don't know how long he's going to go Now, his accuracy is right there with Dak already. Intelligence is lower, and arm is much worse. All right, well, anyway. Okay, the game has told us that we need to look at a quarterback, guard, tackle, cornerback, linebacker, defensive tackle, and free safety. Now, if we look at the team news, we've signed three players in free agency, we signed Roger Fulmer, a corner, uh, out of Oregon. Now, he has played with Buffalo for two years since being drafted in the fourth round, but became a free agent. Started 16 games last year, 69 tackles, uh, three interceptions. And if we look at him, so, again, looking at... 
free safety, speed, and agility. So he had pretty high speed. Agility wasn't horrible. So went with him. Jeff Heath retired, which gave us a hole uh, at free safety, but we also needed a corner. So cornerback with the speed to keep up with receivers, Jess Seeley uh, out of North Texas. He signs. Uh, he played last year for Philadelphia, fourth-round pick, a one-year contract. And free safety is that speed and agility, very fast, very agile. So free safety, that fills that need probably going to be our starter and just wanting some depth some younger players coming in a little younger this doesn't help us immensely but a guard and guards says we want to look for and again i don't know how accurate all these all these rating suggestions are as i gave you however many episodes back we went through it and i explained where i got these ratings from Who's giving them? They're just guys that are pretty successful in the online leagues with this game or in the history of this game going back to PFS, Pro Football Simulator, which was the first version of it. Uh, but guard, they want strength and run blocking. So very strong, above average run blocking, 29 we got him under two million a year for three years, so I think he's going to be okay. Do they have uh, Lorenzo Johnson? Hello. All right, what's the deal here? Oh, got to close it out or it won't work. All right, we've got. They've got two quarterbacks. In the draft so we've done our scouting we've auto assigned everything tackle quarterbacks there they are um, Boston College see the fact that you don't have Oh, there we go. All right. Um, so if we look at quarterbacks, there we go. Philip Peoples. Boom. All right. So we want accuracy. And actually, we should probably just short by short sort by that acceptable. Okay, these are the guys that we have scouted. Actually, no, that's actually everybody. So we have one exceptional. No, no exceptional. Acceptable, acceptable, average, deficient. So we don't really have anybody with really great accuracy. Average, acceptable, acceptable, acceptable. Don't like the idea of pathetic. I just don't see any quarterbacks that are lights out in this draft. Do you? I don't. Not in the categories that we think we need to be looking at, which could be wrong, which could be completely wrong. So who's this guy? Lorenzo Johnson. I did tell you guys I was going to show you this the next draft. So usually we would come in and look at this, right? Well, you can also look at this, which gives you, it doesn't give you the ratings, but we're very certain on this guy that these are accurate. So accuracy is pedestrian and it gives you the rating, right? So pedestrian is kind of uh, one, two, three, four, five. 
six, seven. So that's like ninth from the bottom. And it's 14 from the top. So there's 22 levels in there. That's that's a big drop, big range. But so pedestrian is not even middle of the road. So if we wanted middle of the road, we would want we would actually probably want fine or better. Now, if we look at uh, intelligence, it's the same thing. So you would really want decent or fine or better. So average, while it sounds good on the surface, is actually one or two levels below 50%, if that makes sense. So I don't find him to be a very good quarterback. Uh, the other one, now, you know, but then you look at your grades. And we've got intelligence, intangibles, technique. We'll put in the work. Diagnosis covered well. So it's hard to tell. It's, you know, it's just like the real draft, I guess. There's no way to tell for sure. All right, so we've auto done the uh, the the scouting. Let's go ahead and get to the draft. We've signed three players, uh, so we want to uh, pick until human. And let's do the draft recap. All right, so Frank Ruiz, who was the linebacker we were supposed to take, goes number one. Rick Keaton, wide receiver, they projected at number two or three, went number two. Ted McCormick goes number three. Another receiver, Aaron Morgan, who was projected the number one pick, went number four. So Lorenzo, so both Lorenzo Johnson is there, number two projected pick. Scott Arrington. He's there. He was projected the number three pick at corner. So, all right. Well, let's get to uh, let's get to the to the good stuff. Uh, let's see. James Ruiz is the perennial projection. Uh, James Ruiz. I do need a linebacker. Makes good tackles, A's and B's across the board. And if we look at report and we look at linebackers, uh, speed and tackling. Linebacker seems to be a throwaway position. But again, speed is terrible. So I already don't like him. Um, strength and tackling would be on the strong side. So his strength is just average. And then your third best would be your next guy. So I'm going to shy away from him. Uh, let's see. We do have a couple of quarterbacks projected up here. Let's just take a quick look. Accuracy is acceptable. Uh, uh, acceptable is a couple of levels below where I would really want uh, all right, corner, we want speed. All right, so speed is average. So maybe their, maybe their numbers are not 100% accurate, right? Um, I don't really need a running back. Nathan Salinas, he's top 10. Uh, linebacker strength not really how about they haven't had a defensive player taken yet amazing strength and defensive tackle strength with high tackling so his tackling is deficient ooh I don't like that alright do we 
you go tackle at number five, acceptable strength. That's still on the low side. And pass blocking is awful. So no, we don't want that. Wow. I have no idea. Speed is acceptable. Zips the ball. I wish there was uh, no way no way to see his uh, arm intelligence accuracy are all acceptable. Not good. Not good. Um, a real leader plays well with others. Faster than his tape shows. You know what? That's who I'm going to draft. We're going to go with him. Scott Arrington, draft player. Boom. All right. We're going to go back to the close view. I'm really questioning what I'm interpreting here, right? Okay, so we needed a corner. We've drafted one. All right. Guard tackle, linebacker, defensive tackle, free safety. Uh, let's view the players. Projection. So we've got a couple of... So those quarterbacks are still there. We'll put in the work. Awful lot of respect. Smart, athleticism, intangibles. Has accuracy to throw receivers open. Who are our coaches telling us to take here? A strong safety or a running back? Well, Jonathan Webb, we, we signed a... Free safety. So strong safety. It says strength and tackling with some speed thrown in. Excellent speed and can snuff out run plays. So strength, not, gr not good. Tackling is subpar. Speed is pedestrian. And that's a high certainty. Now, there's probably... This is where it gets interesting. There's probably a um, Wayne Smith, a real leader. Guard, acceptable strength, fine, undeveloped. Bad strength, pedestrian speed. So we, we're calling him pedestrian speed, right? But then in the grades, it says fall in love with his speed. There's a reason for that. So in our staff, you have the ability to scout potential and... Um, current talent, and potential ability. And none of my coaches are very good at that. So, um, McDougal, running back. Quickness to his cuts. Plenty of activity in the passing game. Speed is amazing. Hands are average. I don't think I want to draft a running back this early, though. Nice blocking on run plays, and he is a guard. I'm going to draft him, I guess. Uh, draft player. So, yeah. Um, 
before we continue, let's jump into the uh, staff and I'll show you what I'm talking about. So I made an offer for the one of the coordinators from the Raiders and you only get one week to go after guys that are currently employed. I offered him more than he was asking for. He turned it down, decided he wanted to stay with the Raiders. And then all, you're left with the dregs, the just the people that are not currently employed. And that sucks. So we went with this guy. Uh, and this is what I'm talking about. So you see the assess potential and ability. He's not very good. He can assess current ability. And he can he's the best assessor of potential. So I probably want to maybe listen to him a little bit more uh in the in the recruiting process <laughs> maybe again i don't know how much that plays into what we're seeing uh but anyway just i wanted to point that out so let's get back to the draft uh pick until human all right round three so we have two picks this round all right jose brantley and david small all right there's Brantley and center David Small. I do need a center. Leadership through the roof. Puts in the work. Okay, projected in rounds two or three. And for center, uh, we're going to go look for strength with a lot of weight. Okay, well, 6'3", 285, terrible strength. But that's uncertain, and again, we don't know. Now, remember, our defensive coordinator is our best evaluator of potential. So, I wish there was a way. All right, everybody's off our draft board. I wish there was a way that I could look at just say my defensive coordinator, but that, that may give you a place to lean. Uh, Jose hey, Brantley gets along good tackles. And again, because I don't know what we're looking at here, we haven't looked at this guy basically at all. So pedestrian strength, terrible speed. So yeah, it's hard to tell what we've got there. So I'm, I'm kind of leaning towards going with this. Now, I don't need another guard because didn't we just draft one? Uh, let's close that. Uh, team recap. Yeah, we drafted the guard in the second round. We need a tight end, a running back. We need an, a center. We need a strong safety. All right, well, there's a tight end. I don't see a snatches the ball out of the air. Football IQ, technique, intangibles, 14.9. Speed is awful. Hands are average. Blocking is exceptional in the run game. Doesn't matter on passing if he's going out for a pass, right? So maybe, maybe. Um, Chris Minter. Run blocks very well. But remember, we're looking for speed and pass blocking. Strength and pass blocking, I'm sorry. Pass blocking's average, run blocking's incredible, so he may be more of a guard. Four, see, he's not thinking very much of him. Um, let's go 14. Now, see, he has him higher. Man, I just don't know. Intelligence. Uh, 
accuracy. That would I, th I would think that would be technique, but I'm not sure. I have no idea. All right, we looked at him. Intelligence, athleticism, so he's not very strong. Run block. Athleticism. Amazing strength. Let's go ahead and draft him. That gets us a, a tackle. All right. Uh, what happened to our third round pick, dude? Hello? Hello? Uh, team recap. Oh, okay. It was a fourth round pick. All right. So we get fifth and 19th. I thought it was a third rounder. Oh, well. All right. Bump this back up. Martin Starborough. William Gray doubles as glue. So intangibles, technique, speed is acceptable. Brandon Fry. Reliably takes down the ball carrier. Tackling acceptable. We do need a linebacker. Mark Duffy. Now look how much higher Bingham has him. If we go back here, He's just, he's just a little higher, but he likes this guy. Uh, now, John Tuttle, Daniel McKenzie. I do need a center as well. Athleticism. John Tuttle, C+. Plus. Strength. And he is, look how much higher than the head coach. I think I'm going to draft this kid. John Tuttle. Draft that player. Oh, look. He was actually the DC's suggestion. I went with you, man. I hope you're not lying to me. All right. All right. We're back with our second pick of the fourth round. This is from the trade. And he's saying Mark Duffy this time, right? We do need a linebacker. Physique, athleticism would be average strength. But we see we it says bad, but we didn't scout him, so we don't know. Tackling is terrible. Ah. What about once he sees daylight, you will not catch him. So he obviously has very good speed, fantastic speed, and his hands are. Fine. You know what? Let's draft. Let's draft him. Uh, how about the kid from Auburn? Good straight line speed. 13.2. 13.5. I think I'm going to draft him. Pick until human. All right, fifth round. All right, that Higginbotham guy is still there. Intelligent de decisions. Now, they're all over 14, and he's got him a 14.5. Again, I'm, I don't really like looking at this now since I don't know how accurate it is. Um, work ethic, very coachable, good behavior. So athleticism, a 
unique speed. Now unique is third from the top. So let's go ahead and draft him. Gary Bear running back. I just selected a running back. Why would you want me to take another one? I'm not going to do that. We're going to take this Herndon kid with the unique speed. Because I want to. I'm probably wrong. That's okay. All right, six round. All right. So Kevin Walters at linebacker. Major McCaffrey, Kevin Walters. 12.3. So he actually has him higher. So you got to remember, these are not in any particular order, right? We can't see, we can't see an OVR or anything like that to gauge them. We're just looking at projected rounds. So you know, you you're gonna have to look around a little bit. Um, Kevin Walters, John Criswell, uh, Criswell, where the frick is he at? Twelve point three. I think we're going to go with uh, Kevin Walters. Right there. Draft player. And one more round. All right. So now he's saying Winston Fagan at tight end, which we do need. Fast enough to command attention from cornerbacks. Hello. So athleticism, speed, technique. Hands are decent. I mean, decent is like right there at the middle. So he's got decent hands. He's bad at run blocking, so he's not going to be any use in the blocking game. Let's see, corner, guard, tackle, center. So that's my three. I, I didn't need a center, but I like that guy. So we've got offensive line, the running back we've addressed, corner we've addressed, linebacker. So the only one we haven't addressed is safety, defensive tackle, and quarterback. Safety, defensive, tackle, and corner. Uh, uh, quarterback, quarterback, defensive tackle. Physique, not good. Defensive tackle, likes how well he tackles, makes good decisions. 10.9. No strength, however, as far as we know. Winston Fagan. I'm going to go ahead and draft him because he's got the speed. And again, I'm really leaning on my defensive coordinator this draft. Change of pace. All right, and pick until human, which should finish the draft. Bam. All right, free agency. Um... Uh, what do we need here? I'm going to go ahead and do free agency off camera. Let me see where we're at time-wise. Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and do free agency off camera. Come back, show you guys the guys that we have uh, signed. But let's take a quick look at the roster. Take a look at our rookie players. Rookies. Bam. And if we do them by salary. Oh, look how expensive. Jesus. All right, so we've got a corner, 86, well, you know what? I'm going to take a picture of this. This is how I do my stuff when I need to. 
Come on, where are you at? Hello? What's the deal? My camera's not working. Why? Why is my camera not working? That would suck. I'm going to have to reboot my phone here. Nope. Photo is not working. All right. I'll have to reboot my phone. All right. Well, you know what we can do? Let's look at all players. And we will sort by, posi by position and experience. So we have... A running back here, speed, remember, speed is important. He is one fast son of a bitch. Jesus. And his hands are good. Guess who just replaced Ezekiel Elliott as our number one running back? Uh, and guess who just made Ezekiel Elliott expendable? Holy crap, that guy's pretty good for a fourth round pick. Speed, hands, now, you'd like strength and agility, right? I mean, you know, you would like that in an all, you know, you'd like a well-rounded, which he is. He is. He doesn't have the hands for the running, for the passing game, but he's a legend. Do we get rid of him? I don't know. We might. But that guy looks really, really good. Hi, Watson. Jesus. All right. Keep moving because we've got to finish this episode. Nope, nope. All right, here we go. Winston Fagan, he's the tight end. Uh, tight end, remember, is run blocking. And so run blocking. Oliphant's still much, much better. Uh, hands, Fagan can be a, he's going to be a backup. Not a problem. All right, we did not draft anybody there. We do have, we got a lot of guards. All right, guards are strength, so let's sort by strength. That puts him num top four on the depth chart, actually tied for number two. And if we look at the run blocking, that puts him at number one. So we may have a new starting guard, which may make some of these guys expendable, like him. In fact, I think I'm going to put him on the trade list right now. Uh, that's Xavier. So let's run into the trade real quick. And Xavier, you save. You're welcome. And back up to the roster. Right there. All right, where are we at? So tackle. We do have a tackle, so it's strength. That would put him number three. Pass blocking, it would put him number four. So depth, development, that's fine. Uh, strength, very close. Run blocking, actually number one. So Tuttle may replace Flores as our number one center. Uh, nothing. Here we go. Kevin Walters at linebacker. So linebacker is that kind of a throwaway position. I don't like to say it that way, but according to what we're reading here, Let's see what the I forget. I, mean, I use this one guy more than the other guy. Um, decent speed, decent tackling, strength, and agility. Obviously, but uh, you know, so speed and tackling. Uh, so if we go speed, he's fourth. If we go tackling, he's last. So pros, pr project. We'll see if he develops. May not make the roster. May be a wasted pick. All right, speed. Um, we, we recruited two guys, and they're both really good speed, which boosts our overall level, but they're actually the two worst, right? Now, tackling. Boy, Derek Samuel cannot tackle for shit. I mean, he is Deion Sanders in the, in the, in the ones and zeros, isn't he? Gee whiz, um, he's gonna have to play as a star as a six million dollar player though. Wow, speed. I mean, speed's not horrible. He's got good hands. He's got the 
second best hands, which should lead to interceptions. Fulmer was uh, the guy we signed this year uh, as a free agent, wasn't it? History? Yeah, free agent. That was our free agent signing this year. All right, and let's wrap up. Safety, I need to sign a free safety. We did not, and we have uh, Jess Seeley that we signed in free agency. So, yep, so that's all of our players. Let me know what you think of the draft. Um, I am going to look at uh, free agents. We still have Cooper Rush. We still have Joseph Reuter. Um, we'll go through training camp, and then we'll see how those guys develop in particular. Uh, I am go What I want to do is make a note of how well I'm rebooting my phone here to see if that fixes my freaking camera because it worked earlier today. I use my camera every day at work. Uh, I'm really impressed with High Watson. I think he might be a steal for us in the fourth round. Um, that could be a huge pick. And uh, maybe we could get a couple of first rounders for Ezekiel. I don't know. Um, save us some money as well. So let me know what you think of the draft. Did I miss anybody? Should I have gone after somebody else? If you have any particular insight, input on how your staff skills affect the, the, the evaluation of players, if you have any input on uh, setting up your scouting uh, for the draft on what players, because as you can see, I've tried doing it myself. I've auto assigned. And, you know, when I got to the second round, I had two guys that we had scouted on my board. So, um, you know, I don't know. I have no idea. But um, so those are the things I'm really interested about. How your staff scouting ability comes into play with accuracy. Um, is there a better, you know, and, and what does that do when you're looking at the um, and we can't see it now, but like this guy, when we went in and looked at his ratings, you remember these, we didn't have actual ratings. They had words. So where does that play into his, into his, uh, into his speed here? Uh, you know, into the, into the word ratings and what they will transpire into numerical ratings. Um, I hope that makes sense. Um, is there a better way that we could sort players in the draft screen uh, to make sure we're looking at the right guys? Um, anyway, just anything you can think of that might be beneficial to me, to anybody else watching, mention it in the comments. We'll take a look at it. Um, and again, I'm going to post over to some of the other guys that I know and see if I can get some feedback and uh, if I hear anything back from that end, I will let you guys know next episode. Uh, training camp, preseason, we'll have that that we'll review. Uh, and then we'll get started uh, with week one coming up. We'll go over any free agent signings as well. Hit the like button, subscribe, and we'll see you guys next episode for kickoff. Later.